Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Tyson Fury tells Deontay Wilder, don't shit yourself, mate. Let's get the fight made. So you can see here, this is uh, boxing on BT Sport. Very short tweet that they've put out, about a 10 second clip where he says, Wilder, let's get the fight made. Don't shit yourself, mate. So Tyson Fury, after a couple of weeks where it wasn't exactly clear what was going to happen next for him, with some speculation and some talk, especially from his trainer Ben Davison, that he may look elsewhere, he may let Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua fight first and face the winner, Tyson Fury appears to be up for the rematch. And this was always going to be the most logical option, given what happened back on December 1st. There was unfinished business there. A lot of people want to see that run back, see a decisive result. And Jay Diaz, he's actually been talking to the boxing voice, saying he thinks it is also the most logical fight. He believes it's an easier fight to make for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury as opposed to a Joshua fight. And because there is some unfinished business there, he wants to see a conclusion. He likes that fight for his fighter, Deontay Wilder, and he says it can be made probably within an hour. There's some things to work out, but he believes it can be made quite easily, at least in principle, and then work out all the details. And some of those details, obviously, where do they hold it? And JD has said that is one of the key things in terms of working out what happens next and some of the timings. Because some, for Showtime, the broadcaster, he alluded to that earlier in the year potentially doesn't work as well for them given their schedule. And there has been some talk of that, that potentially at May, June, potentially could be better for Showtime. But in terms of a rematch, well, it certainly looks like it is going to get made. And I just wanted to drop some quick thoughts on that. Certainly a fight that I do want to see. Can we get a definitive result this time? And also, if it is in the UK, where would it be? There's been talk of Manchester United's ground, 75,000. That would sell out. But I think wherever this fight is held now, it's going to sell out. It will be bigger the second time around. There will be more interest. There will be more money. It'll be interesting to see how hard T Tyson Fury, Frank Warren, his promoter, negotiates on his behalf. Because obviously... They want this to, uh, and Frank Warren, he's had a few financial issues that reportedly according to media reports. So we'll see what happens there. But I think we all saw this coming. A Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fight. Uh, it always looked more likely than a Deontay Wilder fight with Anthony Joshua. And this sort of confirms that, that they are going to have this rematch. Both sides are now talking about it publicly, starting to build towards that rematch. We're going to wind through the gears. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we get an announcement in the next month or so. They'll have to work out some details, but, you know, that's always going to happen. But if both sides are up for it, it will get made. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out. If you want even more boxing content, come and join me on Patreon. Every week on a Sunday, I drop a new video on something topical or thought-provoking from the heavyweight division, ranging from rankings, the business of boxing, the false economy of deluded fanboys, the twists and turns in the division to assessments of fighters and their statements. I hope to see you there. And for more information, go to patreon.com forward slash boxing squared. The address is on screen now.